Tradition held steadfast as the circus arrived in the same old-fashioned way it's always arrived, by train. And the hundreds who gathered for a close-up look wouldn't have it any other way. The last time I saw them unloaded was in Kenton, Ohio, a town of 8,000 people. I was 12 years old, and it was a great thrill. And I'll say one thing, you don't have to ask anyone where the elephants are because all you have to do is go like that, and you find them. <laughs> The animals, frisky from their long journey by rail, were commandeered into parade position for their journey to the Bayfront Center by world-famous animal trainer Gunther Gable Williams, ever cautious of safety. When you have 20 elephants together and all the horses and people and the audience are close, uh, the audience have not the nicest idea what can happen. So I've been a responsibility, so I want nothing to happen ever, so have to be always very careful. But under the big top tonight, tradition will give way to break dancing, a rapping ringmaster, punk clowns, and BMX bikers. Now maybe you think if you've seen one circus, you've seen them all, but this particular one likes to do something a little different every year. This year, they brought along King Tusk, said to be the largest land mammal traveling the earth. He's one in a million. Uh, most males are unruly and hard to handle, but he's uh, fairly gentle. But traditionally, it's Gunther Gable Williams who draws the big crowds. And his secret? Very simple. I'm the greatest. <laughs> Kathy Fountain, Pulse 13.